What's up all you guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about who was the best WWE Champion from 2011 till now, 2021. We got a bunch of world champions, all certified, some not. Who was your favorite and who do you not like on the list? Let's talk at the top of the list. We got Del Rio. He's got the spinner belt. I believe this was around 2008 and 2009. I wasn't a big fan of Del Rio. He wasn't my favorite Latino wrestler. I liked Eddie Greer, Rey Mysterio. Del Rio is probably my least favorite champion. He had an MMA match against Tito Ortiz and lost. And now he's doing some time after some incidents with AJ Lee, his ex-girlfriend. We got The Rock. He had that belt. I didn't like that belt. This was also around about 2011. The Rock with the belt. Pretty legendary. But I liked The Younger Rock better. From 2001 this was not the prime rock this was an adult version a legendary version of the rock coming back to defeat john cena they had the epic three bouts at wrestlemania the rock wow we got cm punk he dropped a great pipe bomb he was great on the mic he was one of the greatest world champions but not physically I was not a fan, he was a little too small in structure, and we know what happened, he went off to go to UFC, took a few losses, but he manned up. CM Punk, AK Phil Brooks, the best in the world, will he return? We got Rey Mysterio, who would have thought that WCW's own Rey Mysterio would have became WWE World Champion at one time, especially at this time. Nobody would have thought the longevity of Rey Mysterio was there, but he deserved this belt. It really looked good on him, and I like the mask. Half white, half red. Sheamus, one-time champion, represented Ireland. They took the belt off him. He never won again. He needs this moment. I don't like him as a champion. I'm surprised he's on the list along with Del Rio. We got Triple H, the King of Kings, the game, the cerebral assassin. We definitely know he deserves to be up here. He's got about 14, 15 world titles. He might break Ric Flair's record. Seth Rollins in his prime. When he took on guys like Sting. He was definitely the man. Now he's kind of fallen off with the Messiah gimmick on SmackDown. But WWE Champion, he was surely great. Seth freaking Rollins. And his friend, the big dog Roman Reigns. All smiles before the heel turn. Roman Reigns, a multiple time world champion. Definitely deserves it. Being cousins of The Rock and the Inua family. Guys like Yokozuna, Rikishi, aka The Sultan. His brother who passed away. We got Bray Wyatt. This was really swampy. This was the swamp days with Bray Wyatt. He had Braun Strowman and the Wyatt family. Rest in peace, Luke Harper and Eric Rowans. He was world champion, but I like him better as The Fiend. John Cena definitely deserves to be world champion. We know he's doing movies right now. He's up there in age. He will be coming back. He could possibly also break Ric Flair's record for most WWE titles. Dean Ambrose. That was insane when he had the belt for a bit. He went on a good run after he got frustrated with the company and left to AEW All Elite Wrestling. Dean Ambrose, the lunatic fringe, kind of reminded me of Brian Pillman and Kirk Cobain. Jinder Mahal, representing India, became one-time champion. This was insane when the moment happened. The movement was huge. Sadly, it got taken off. This man's definitely a legend and needs to win the belt again. We need to see the crazy matches with him and Great Kali. All these guys need to come back, especially his teammates, the Bollywood boys. Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar, Mr. UFC, Mr. WWE, Mr. Football. He definitely deserved the world title. He's definitely a prize fighter and top draw. Daniel Bryan, the ultimate underdog. That was insane at WrestleMania. We got to see this man in 2013 win the belt. Everybody was screaming, yes, yes, yes. They just couldn't stop. Daniel Bryan's definitely underdog. It's sad to see him fall off, but it looks like age has caught up to him. I don't think he's the best wrestler of all time either. AJ Styles, the phenomenal one, straight out TNA wrestling, deserved the belt. He got it. We saw evolution of AJ Styles in WWE. A lot of people thought he wouldn't fit in when he made his debut at Royal Rumble. He's gotten bigger in size. He's got brand new hair. Definitely deserves the belt. Looks like a modern day Shawn Michaels. Possibly better. Kofi Kingston. That was a real underdog victory. Congratulations Kofi. Kofi actually got it done one time. Represent the Jamaican people. On a new day he's the first champion. I hope Biggie gets the next. But wow was that a shocker. Especially losing Brock Lesnar that fast. The Miz. 
We know The Miz stayed in it. MTV days. No one thought this guy was going to be world champion, but he did it. Not one time, but two times. Recently, he just lost the belt after like a few weeks to Bobby Lashley, the almighty one, who's also on this list. Bobby Lashley deserves the belt. He's going to go against Brock Lesnar if he defeats Drew McIntyre. He's definitely got the size and power. Bobby Lashley with the belt looks good. And so does Drew McIntyre, who's now about two, three-time world champion so fast. That's incredible. I would like him to be a one-time champion, but... Drew McIntyre, the Scottish psychopath, definitely representing Scotland. He had a journey. He came in the company as the chosen one over 10 years ago. He built up size, charisma, everything. Now he's huge as a champ. Him versus Bobby Lashley will be great at WrestleMania. Can't wait. And Randy the Viper Orton, RKO, the Apex Predator, definitely deserves to be world champion. He's up there. Possibly could beat Ric Flair's record also. Him versus Cena at Mania would be crazy if they broke the record. And Triple H interferes. And Ric Flair also interferes. It would be crazy. These are the world champions from 2011 to the present moment. A 10-year run. This is by WrestleSource. It's WrestleHead1 giving the best wrestling news. Make sure to subscribe if you're new, guys. Also, like and share the video. Tell me what you guys think. Who's your favorite wrestler? Who's your least favorite wrestler? And why? Peace out, guys, and have a great day. Wow.